here's the question. How can you tell when online social networking becomes an addiction? Facebook has 350 million users, and the average person spends about an hour a day on the site, but some teenagers are spending a lot more time than that keeping tabs on their friends. And now some of these Facebook junkies are trying to kick their addiction. For Michigan 10th grader Nika Salmasi, chatting and messaging with her friends on Facebook had become a huge problem. It's like an addiction. You look up one moment and it's day, and you look up another moment and it's night. In the beginning, she says, she'd be online for as little as 20 minutes a day, but then those minutes grew into a couple of hours on weekdays, and sometimes as long as six hours on the weekend. She wasn't doing any other task, like her room was really messy, and then Couple times actually we fight over it and we usually don't fight that much. Nika's grades were going down, her mom was worried. The obsession to constantly check Facebook was disrupting her life. In California, best friends Monica Reed and Hallie Lamberson quickly realized that they too were wasting too much time on Facebook. The amount of time was just unnecessary. Yeah. We thought that the time we saved could be used for more productive things. These two, like so many teenagers in this country, were struggling to find a balance between social media and their everyday lives. For a teenager, it doesn't make sense to think of my life and then I get distracted by social media. We're not going to be taking away uh, the internet. It's more a question of living with these devices that so compel us in a way that serves our human purposes. So, in order to put Facebook in its proper place, Nika took action. She asked her sister to change her Facebook password on Monday morning and keep it hidden until Friday night. It's kind of hard for me to admit that it was hard. My friends, some of them said, I don't know how you can do it. My studying habits definitely improved. Monica and Hallie decided to limit their use to one Saturday a month. The original consequence was that if you broke the rules and you went on before the first Saturday of every month, you would have to write on the wall of someone you didn't know very well. People take breaks. Uh, people drop in and out. We're all learning, parents and children, how to do this better. As we said, a very modern problem. Joining me now, internet safety expert Perry Aftab of wiredsafety.org. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ken. So, almost every teenager in this country is on Facebook. How do you tell if it's risen to the level of addiction? Well, 97% of the teens we polled are actually on Facebook, so they're all there. And when things rise to the level of addiction, things are out of balance. Grades are going down, they don't have offline friends, they're not doing things offline. They're all consumed about the internet and, in this case, Facebook. So is there a way that a parent can monitor what their kid is doing online? Absolutely. First, you have to have the talk. Uh, you, it, there's a certain place and time, you have to have your homework done, you have to make your bed, whatever. And then you can go on and look at their page. How how often are they posting? How often are their friends? And if it gets really bad, you can use monitoring software and you put it on their computer. And as long as they're accessing Facebook from their computer and not their cell phone or another device, you can see how often they're on there. And you can even lock them out for more than two hours a day. Are there other options other than locking kids out? If you feel like your child is addicted, whatever that means, uh, what do you do? Well, you have to determine whether they like it a lot, they're obsessed, or they really are addicted. And if they're addicted, they are at risk in other areas of their lives. And that means you have to turn it off. And the only way to make sure you do that is you keep their cell phones in your, in your bedroom drawer when they're home, and you make sure that their internet access is guided, and in some cases monitored using technology. What is it about these sites, particularly Facebook, that is so addictive for teenagers? Well, the kids don't see it as a site, they see it as life. And it's where everybody they want to know and everybody who knows them and everybody who is everybody is. So you're either an exhibitionist or you're a voyeur or you want everyone to know the newest dress you like, the last boy you liked, the next girl you want to like. You break up and your status changes. That's how they live. And what we need to do is find balance. It's all about balance. So interesting that you just said they don't see it as a site, they see it as life. There, what do you think of the idea of taking a break? We saw a very high profile case of this with Miley Cyrus who said that she was taking a high 
hiatus from Twitter. Uh, the, and, and then we just saw these young girls in, in the piece that we just aired who were taking a break. Does that seem like a viable solution to you? Well, I'm not sure how viable it is. They just need to let their friends know that they're going to have to call them on the cell phone. But on 17 Magazine's poll, which they did in October, 38% of their readers said that they wished that social networking technology didn't exist at all. I think our kids are being overwhelmed, and what we need to do is make sure that their fingers play the piano and play a baseball and in addition to moving the mouse around. And if kids do take a break like this, it is encouraging, I would imagine, that they are taking the initiative on their own rather than having it imposed by their parents. Yeah, we're seeing a big backlash. A lot of kids are just overwhelmed and overtacked, and I think we need to make some differences. And if parents want to know what to do, they can follow Wired Moms on Twitter, and they can become part of my cyber army. We can make a difference together. The cyber army. Perry Aftab, the general in the cyber army. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks and a lot. Happy New Year. Uh, if you didn't have a pen and weren't writing all that down, you can go to our website to find out how to break your teenager's Facebook habit. Check out abcnews.com and click on GMA for all of Perry's tips.